Right, how are you doing fellow campers? I just thought I'd update my channel, um, do a little uh, Kuka BCB um, Crusader solid fuel uh, Kuka and mug. I'm just going to give a quick demo of that and um, yeah, just let you know how this one goes. I haven't cooked in it yet. It's a solid fuel Kuka. Got it from eBay. So there's the cubes. Um, actually bought these from uh, the Go Outdoor Centre. But you can use hexi cubes um, in any solid fuel cube that comes with these coopers. Right, that's what it looks like inside. I rest your cup on there. Put the solid fuel in that little um, circle there. I'm going to put two in, I'm going to heat up, um, I'm going to heat the tin of soup up with it, there's the cup there, like steel, teflon plated, so it's non-stick, but don't do what I do, and not read the instructions, and put it straight onto a gas, uh, a gas stove, at the end of the day that's what it done, took off the teflon on the bottom, but you know I can live with that. So don't do that, just keep it the solid fuel. We'll go and get the soup. Right, soup. I like these cubes up. That's probably why I open the window because they can stink a bit. These things. If anyone use has used hexi cubes, these will know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to use two cubes for this. It's called the, the called Crusader um, BCB. That's a Mark II um, Crusader BCB solid fuel stove, and um, this is a Mark One mug. The difference between the Mark One and Mark Two is, I think this is steel. Uh, um, yeah, and the Crusader Two cup is uh, higher grade aluminium, just a little bit lighter, I guess. I've got no problems with this, a good solid cup, and I highly recommend them. Solid fuel, I would probably only bring it out for one night or like. This gas is a little bit more you know, reliable. Right, okay, soup time. As you see, the cubes uh, have a nice little flame on them. There we go, and there's the soup. So I'm going to put it on now. There you go, it just rests on like that. Tiny little bit of kit. And as you see, it's got the holes in for the air, and um, it's slightly shielded from the wind. I think two little cubes is. More than enough for a tin of soup. You'd probably get away with just using one cube, which is pretty good. Considering you get two, four, six, eight, twelve cubes um, per half pack, you can get them at the Go Outdoor Centre for I think they're about two fifty, and you get twenty four cubes. So good value for money. See that's bubbling away already. I'm impressed with that. I'm going to be doing some um, ration pack reviews next time I'm out. It's, I haven't been out for about five weeks, like so. You know, as you probably realise, I'm itching to get out, basically. 
but I'm not time to work on that. Like I say, the next time I'm out, I'll do some reviews of uh, some army ration pack meals because I've got like 10 full ration packs there and I've only ate about two meals out of it. But there you go, it isn't even two minutes into the cooking and it's bubbling away already, it's almost cooked. So it's definitely passed the test. I'm impressed with it. It's a Crusader BCB Mark II solid fuel stove and I'm cooking and my soup is in a BCB Crusader 1 but I prefer these cups to the alloy ones because um, they're a little bit flimsy you know these are a bit stronger but there you go give it another minute and then it's done I'm basically just putting this uh, little review up because I've you know, I haven't been out in five weeks. I know you are all chomping up a bit there. See me next video. I might even take this out. But yeah, probably not this weekend because I'm on call with work. It'll be the weekend after. I don't know where I'm going yet. But, you know, see where I end up. Yeah, five weeks is too long not to be out like feel like a lifetime but there you go it's fully cooked now in less than a few minutes and these cubes are still going strong so yeah good bit of kit so till the next time guys and gals I bid you goodbye I'm gonna enjoy my soup now Laters.